Overcast and a little bit chilly Sunday afternoon. Game time temperature here in Chicago right around 57 degrees as the first pitch is a called strike. Dubon had a base hit in his final at bat of the game last night. It pops one into right center field. That is going to drop in for a hit. Mauricio Dubon, who's in the top 10 of the major leagues in opposite field hits, starts one with 3-2 pitch. He's off and racing, and Bregman sends one into left field. That's down for a hit. Dubon will make the turn and get to third. Astros with runners on first and third and nobody out to start things off against Lucas Giolito. That ball smashed to right center field. That is down and all the way to the wall. Dubon will score easily. Bregman's being raved around third. He is going to be safe at home plate. Jordan with a two RBI double will scoot to third as that ball gets away. It's 2-0 Astros. Alvarez with 37 RBIs on the year now. Career against Giolito. Infield in. And Tucker sends one in the air to right field. We said the wind was blowing now towards right there. Making the catch is Sheets. Alvarez will tag and he will score standing up. Jordan with a head of steam didn't even bother to slide and almost ran into Dusty Baker on his way into the dugout. <laughs> Four pitchers. And that was on a fly out his third time up. This ball set towards center field. That'll be a base hit past Tim Anderson. Astros with their fourth hit of the game in the first inning. They're four for four with a sack fly. Three two chopped towards the middle. Anderson will flip it with his glove to Hanser Alberto and the honor Diaz hits into a double play to end the inning. Rounds out your White Sox lineup. Tim Anderson was a catalyst in that lineup yesterday for the White Sox. As he Ground ball right side short hops on a bray you stays with it and Jose retires his former infielder mate Tim Anderson see how this plays out but a couple things to keep in mind that one just missed the inside corner swing and a miss Vaughn goes after the breaking ball and Hunter Brown has his first strikeout of the day. Swing and a miss. Moncada goes down on strikes. Hunter Brown bounces back from being down 3 0 to strike out Moncada to end the inning. On the ground towards the hole. Nice play by Moncada, who gets up and with that pink sleeve. Astros have had their share of raindrops here. It was a beautiful off day on Thursday when they got into town, but they have had their share of rain Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That is a batter violation, and that's a strikeout. Timer violation against David Hensley will cost him an at bat. For them as they announced on this Mother's Day. So that's how they announced? How cool is that? Isn't that great? Maldi pops one up. Shallow center. We mentioned the wind, and Hanser Alberto stays with it for the final out of the inning. He's driven pretty well. There it is. Slow curveball. Got him. It's like you guys set this up. Yeah, Julie and I will be giving pitching lessons later. Ground ball slowly hit. Second baseman Hensley makes the play. Gavin Sheets retired for the second out. That one off the end of the bat, but it's going to find its way into right center field for Jake Berger. Just off the IL, has the first hit of the game for the White Sox. Little ground ball to the right side. David Hensley will flip it to Dubon, and that will do it for the White Sox. Hensley in a bat as he struck out on a timer violation. Racio pops one up on the infield, or shallow right to be exact. Alberto drifts out and makes the play for the first out of the third inning. Every Thursday off in April and May. And he'll have three with the Oakland A's. Bregman didn't mean to. A little excuse me ground ball to the right side. Two quick outs here in the third inning for Lucas Chilita. Early OPS beasts. Oh, that ball almost went through the glove of Alberto. It didn't really. It hit the top of his glove, but Jordan hit it hard enough that it could have gone through the webbing of his glove. High ball that's going to drop in in front of Andrew Benintendi and left. Tuck gets to first base on a little flare to left. And hits this ball slowly to Alberto, who will make the play to first. That will do it for the Astros in the third inning. As Hunter Brown facing the number nine hitter, Sebi Zavala, 
with a 1 2 count. Grounds one to the right side. David Hensley has been busy the last couple of innings, makes the play on Zavala for the first out of the third. That's on the ground. Mauricio Dubon playing shortstop today, makes the play for out number two. That one's high in the air. Tucker going back, still going back. He is near the wall and he reaches out and it's over the wall on one hop. He kept looking at Chaz McCormick. This one towards Tucker's left and he will make this play for the final out of the inning. A Swing and a drive. There it is. The first major league home run for Yiner Diaz. And the Astros take a 4 0 lead. A no doubter off the bat of Yiner Diaz. There's some of that pop we've been hearing about. Wow. 424 foot shot to left. Just a matter of time, and Yiner connected deep to left field. That was a center cut changeup. Oh, silent treatment. Silent treatment for his first major league homer. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> first ever. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> you guys are playing it so well. That's incredible. He's still. <laughs> oh, that was great. Chaz goes down on strikes. That is the second strikeout for Giolito, the first one that was not a timer violation. Go back to that home run swing by Yiner Diaz. That is beautiful. He was on time. Got beat earlier in this at bat with a fastball up in the zone. And then got a change up right down the middle, and he makes a deposit. Good feeling for Yiner. It's a line drive at the shortstop. Tim Anderson makes the play on a bullet off the bat of David Hensley. Two two pitch a swing and a miss. Giolito has his second strikeout of the inning, his third of the game. Smooth sailing uh, mentally and physically. Mancata down swinging. Running. So you're he feet six inches away. Um, Stands are just a little bigger and the ah, shoot. Yeah, unfortunately, Luis Robert Jr. has been as hot as anybody in the league and certainly in this series, a home run in three straight games. Yeah, it was a it was he was a tough AB for sure, but um, no, back back to what, what we were talking about. And it, again, I gave up one to him my last start, and it was just Knowing that those, those solos really aren't going to kill you, um, just kind of brushing it off um, on to the next batter. That's where that's where that that short attention span really needs to kick in as a pitcher and just know that hey, okay, that's over with. We're on to the next hitter. And they're having to shake two, three, maybe four times, and then now you're like, well, I guess I got to throw this one. Ooh, I off Hunter Brown. He tries to recover in time to get sheet. What a oh, oh man, I thought he got him. That looked close. Legendary mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> you are now joining this group with that mustache. Did you know that beforehand, or is this just something a mustache that you've been running with for years? I I did not know that. Yeah, we went to Reno, Albuquerque, Albuquerque to Seattle, Seattle, LA, LA to here. <laughs> well, enjoy the trip home today, and thanks for joining us. Yes, JP. sir. Thank thanks, you. JP. See what Dubon's done on the road this year. He has good numbers away from Minute Maid Park. But he gets called out on third strike here. Dubon. Bregman on the ground towards third. Love there by Moncada. And there's two outs here in the fifth inning. Called third strike on a pitch in the bottom part of the zone. That is strikeout number five for Giolito. He's mixing it up a little bit more between that slider and curveball. I like those strike percentages. We got 91% on the curveball. Woo! There's a swing and a miss there, getting Sebi Zavala for a seven strikeout on the day. Ground ball in the hole in the left field. Tim Anderson with another base hit. 
That's 11 hits in seven games against the Astros this year. Swing and a miss. Eight strikeouts for Hunter Brown. That matches a season and career high. Two outs in the inning. Yesterday. Yeah, she talked me into it. 3 1 pitch. Ground ball towards the middle. Dubon will flip it to Hensley. We have an official game. Yes. The rain is within 15 minutes or so. Hits for the Astros. Puts this one on the ground to the second baseman, Hanser Alberto. Lucas Giolito has pitched better since that first inning as he gets Tucker to ground out. Giolito strikes out at Brayu. Strikeout number six, two away in the inning. Making it a 4 0 game at that point. It's now a 4 to 1 game. Sends this one into right center field, but Robert Jr. with a nice jump flags that one down for the final out of the inning. Coming into the game, 15 of his strikeouts. That ball took a big hop, and Abreu stayed with it. That did not take a normal hop. Nice play by Jose Abreu as Moncada. Ball rocketed to left field. That'll be down for a hit all the way to the wall. Luis Robert Jr. is having himself a series. He is six for ten with three home runs and that double. And no rest after this ball game today. It's right back home against the Chicago team. That's a line drive caught by Abreu. So the White Sox have hit the ball hard this inning, trying to get through six today. And this ball hit down the line and hit pretty well to the left. Jordan Alvarez will watch it go. Two run home run for Jake Berger. And just like that, the White Sox creep within a run. It's a four to three game. Berger hits his eighth home run of the year. As much as we were touting that curveball getting the swing and miss, this one hung and stayed on the inner third of the plate. Berger pulled the hands in and got Hunter Brown. Seven of the eight home runs for Berger this year have been hit at home. You see that breaking ball lose its snap a little bit and stay on the inside. Berger stayed on it nicely. So Brown goes five and two thirds in it. Sweeping slider. Hunter Alberto sends one deep to left field, and that is caught by Jordan Alvarez on the warning track. A line drive, final out here in the sixth inning. It's up to the bullpens now in this 4-3 game. That ball hit to the right side, gloved by Andrew Vaughn. He will get to the bag himself ahead of McCormick for the first out of the inning. Bring up Aaron Bummer. This one catches the inside corner for a called third strike. Little looper that's going to find its way into center field. Martin Maldonado with a base hit. Astros now with eight hits in the game. Maldi has his first. He's a two out base runner. On it, too. Double down the left yeah. field line. Now Dubon sends one to right, slicing and a great diving catch made by Gavin Sheets. That ball slicing away from Sheets made the play for the final out. Swing and a miss. Naris beating Zavala, picking up a strikeout to start his appearance here in the seventh inning. Swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. Naris beating Anderson and Zavala. Down and in ball four. Benintendi draws his second walk. Both walks allowed by Astros pitching today. Popped high in the air. Maldi gives it a look, and he is going to have room. This wind is blowing it back towards home plate, and Maldi puts it away for the final out of the inning. Off the bat of Kyle Tucker. Unfortunately for them, neither one had a hit, but they squared up the baseball well against this lefty on Friday night as Bregman sends one into left field for the first out. That is a fair ball. Jordan thought it was going to be foul. Never left the batter's box. Andrew Vaughn makes the play for out number two. Line up with Yohan Mancata, Luis Robert Jr., the first two in that sequence. Tucker the other way has another opposite field base hit. 
Tucker's two for three today. He's going to try and stretch it into a double, and he will be safe at second base. Kyle Tucker, a two-out double for the Astros here in the eighth. In against the team he used to play for, and he goes down on strikes here. But Lopez comes in and strikes out his former teammate for the final out. He struck out twice against Hunter Brown. That one may have flipped him on the back foot and does. That'll be a hit by pitch. Got him. Big strikeout for Brian Abreu. Picking up a strikeout of Robert Jr. for the first out of the eighth. Fly ball, right field. Playable for Kyle Tucker. Waits for it and puts it away for out number two off the end of the bat. Swing and a miss. Three power fastballs getting by Jake Berger for the strikeout for Brian Abreu to end the inning. Six days for time in five games. Yiner hits one in the air to center field. Luis Robert Jr. is there. Puts it away for out number one in the ninth. <laughs> Give them a shout out. Three two pitch popped high in the air. Chaz flips his bat away. A little frustrated with his afternoon as. Andrew Vaughn puts it away for the second out. 16, the last time they got to the 40 game plateau, one quarter into the season without a winning record. This ball is caught by Anderson on the move on a little pop fly in the shallow left field. So out to Seattle for three games. Swing and a miss. Presley strikes out Alberto. Astros pitching with 13 strikeouts, one away in the ninth. Stewart clarification on why that wasn't a strike. Ground ball, one hop. Jose Abreu makes the play. And that's the second out of the inning. A different kind of way. 3-1 pitch sent into right center field. Tough play. McCormick, a diving catch to end the game. Chaz McCormick lays out and makes the catch in right center field with the ball tailing away from him to end this one and give the Astros a 4-3 victory. Now stop me if you've heard this before. Chaz McCormick makes a great play behind Ryan Presley late in the game. Does it again on a line drive fading away from him. He's able to catch up to it, lay out, and finish off this game here in Chicago. And with that catch and with that win, the Astros have a winning road trip. And it'll, guess what, TK? Another happy flight. Another happy flight. A season series victory against the White Sox. The Astros have now won seven consecutive Mother's Days. All those positive notes as Ryan Presley is fired up <laughs> with Chaz McCormick's catch to end this one. Astros win it four to three. Plenty coming up on the Astros postgame show. We will have Vanessa Richardson and Michael Bourne hosting. Julia Morales will be gathering interviews both on the field and in the Astros clubhouse. You'll hear from Dusty Baker after this series win. All that coming up after this Astros 4-3 win.